G'day guys, welcome back to another session. Uh, I put a quick story out on my Instagram last night, looking at the weather, thinking where am I gonna end up fishing, and uh, here we are, we're on our Dross and Jetty. So we've got a bit of a northerly um, happening here today, and it's a bit windy, so I apologize if it is uh, a bit annoying. I'm gonna try and burly up and just catch a few Tommies. Um, one I need for a squid teaser, and then we're gonna actually try and catch some salmon today. Just often with this rougher weather, the salmon can tend to be around at our Drossen, and it's uh, really the middle of winter now, so perfect timing for them. There's no one on the jetty for as far as the eye can see. So it sometimes worries me <laughs> when there's no one on the jetty. Uh, either the locals know that today's not your day um, or you can have a really peaceful session. Let's get into it. So if you're watching any of our other videos, the, uh, the rig is pretty simple. Um, a ball float on your leader, bubble float on your leader, um, down to a swivel. Um, just before the swivel, got a couple of split shots just to get it down there. Fairly long trace on the um, size eight owner hook with a bead. Um, we're not very big at all. Um, we're just trying to catch a Tommy. So let's see how we go. We'll get the bait on there, which is uh, gents, old Sheldon gents. Might have to get out the homemade uh, rod holder clips for the um, rail. So these are the uh, homemade rod holder clips, which are great for these windy conditions. Uh, my dad actually made these up, but uh, the idea comes from Daniel Way, the fishing guru on YouTube. You can see how there they just clip on and your rod can just sit in them without, just like that, save you the uh, annoyance of rods tipping over, especially in these uh, bit windier conditions. All right, we've loaded up on the gents. I'm gonna flip this out just quickly into the uh, Burley trail that's been going out there and I'm just going to leave that sit and keep an eye on it until hopefully we get a Tommy or two. If we get a Tommy we can put it out on the squid teaser. In the meantime I'm actually going to get my get my gobbler's lures put it on a uh, quarter ounce jig head. I'm going to go the white for two reasons. The snook seemed to like the white and we got a snook at uh, Edithburg the other week uh, unfortunately didn't make a video because I forgot my head cam and whatever um, but I got a nice snook I might be able to find just the footage of that from the wide view oh I got something on there too something just all right I got a fish yep, yep. this could be a flatty oh it's a snook He's taking it. I might lose him here. Oh my god! That, wait, what's that? It's a snook. Got it. We've got a snook, guys. Now, whether he's. Yeah, he's got very sharp teeth. I'm surprised I didn't lose him because he's taken that hole. He's not big enough. I think. Oh no, he is, sorry. Yeah, that's. Why is that? Oh, I'm measuring it the wrong way. Dummy. Um, they've got to be f he's uh show you that he's 50 centimeters but i'm very very lucky because if you have a look there he's got the top and his teeth and this is only eight pound liter so i'm surprised that he didn't bite me off so we're just going to put the the gobblers uh it's a really thin profile soft plastic just on the one quarter 2.0 uh, Z-Man or TT uh, painted jig head. Looks like there's someone finally on the jetty here. I'm going to put that on my um, my TT rods, three to six kilo 702 um, red belly, um, paired with the Okuma ITX 3000. I'm just going to, these uh, fast attach hooks, clips are pretty good. I could do a, uh, I could do a, a loop knot or whatever, but I find if I'm going to switch between lures, I might try this and then I might go to a patter tail or something. I just find it easier to uh, um, use the fast attach clips. But let's not forget the uh, old Squidgy's S-Factor. Let's get that all over the soft plastic 
Oops. This tube's getting a little bit low, but I've got uh, another brand new tube because I bought like a whole box of them from Mark Berg's Attic Tackle. There was a point there about six, 12 months ago where they were, it was coming, it was a bit of a struggle to, to find it. Um, let's get some of that on the hook even. So I, I just bought a box. Now we've got our float out there and that's the wind's going this way. So I'm actually gonna cast sort of behind you on the diagonal and then uh, just gonna bring it in a slow retrieve and see how we go. Gonna give it some time to sink. It's only a quarter ounce jig head. See if we can hook something on first cast of the soft plastic. It's uh, it's actually not too bad out here. I mean, I've got what's really handy is I've got this shelter here to block some of that wind. The water is actually really clear. All right. Nothing on the first cast, but I like I like the action and the swimming action and the paddle tail beating of these ones. We can cast out a little bit further as your braid gets wet. It casts just that little bit further, which is good. Just giving a couple of flicks. Just want to look like an injured injured little bait fish. And as I said, a salmon, snook. And I don't know, you tell me, I've heard Mulloway around here too sometimes. You can see that slick now going out there, which is our burley trail with the salmon oil, which is great. If there's any Tommies out that way, they'll follow that in and get to, uh, I'm just gonna, might be a bit too light that drag. Because whenever you store your reels, or you're not using them, you should just always loosen off the drag. It's probably about right now. Might still be a bit Hollywood if we hook up, but we can adjust it, I'd rather it be a little bit looser than too tight. So just keeping an eye on that float as well, hoping to uh, get a Tommy or two. The other thing, obviously, we could attract with this um, with this lure is a squid. And if we do, um, I probably should, and I might just leave that in the water, loosen off that drag in case it does get picked up. I'm just going to put a squid jig on my eggy rod. <clears throat> As you know guys, um, big fan and also supported uh, by Inku Squid Tackle. Um, fine, just found them since I started using them to be uh, really great jigs that got the results. Now we've got a little bit of overcasty condition, so I'm actually gonna go for the darker, uh, the darker jag jig. I have to find out what the name of this jig is. But this is the, the darker Inku. I think it might be Night Rider or something like that. Now I'm not gonna actually fish with this uh, unless something chases my soft plastic because yeah, you're only allowed to have two rods and a teaser out there. So just gonna have it ready in case a squiddly diddly follows up the soft plastic. All right, we'll give another cast of this uh, gobbler paddle tail. Get it out there and put it. I might just put it behind you until 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 we actually get any bites. Uh, we got a bite, guys. We got a fish, and I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a Tommy. A mullet, I think. A nice big yellow eyed mullet. Who would have thought it? Now, I am going to have to uh, the challenge is he's taking it right down the gob. Ugh. Here's my trusty measurer. South Australia. Uh, it doesn't say. I think they are 24 and he's gonna be, 
He's 26, so I'm pretty sure he's well in, but I'll quickly have a look on the, uh, on the Perza website because you always want to make sure you're taking fish that are legal. Oh, 21 centimetres, so that's good on the Perza website. So yeah, we, he was definitely in. So let's see if we can, uh, I guess, catch a few more of those. And I might just put that out there just as a, a teaser. So we got off the donut, that's the main thing. Not at all what I was expecting to catch, but it worked. I caught a really nice squid at Edithburg on this jig a couple of weeks ago, or last week end. We got a decent size squid here uh, on the Inku. Again, I have to get the, I don't know what color it's called. This is the dark one. So again, with these overcast conditions and um, you know, not a lot of light, yeah, using a dark profile is definitely gonna help. Oops, there we go. So the hood on that is um, good, around that 30 centimeters. I might actually change over to the Dyna White because the squid, the soft plastic was a white soft plastic and the squid was uh, very uh, interested in it. So I should probably just use the same color in the squid jag, just, just to increase your chances. We'll uh, give it another flick. As I said, tide's coming in. Uh, we'll always uh, sort of, I guess, especially when you've got lots of space on a jetty, make the most of it, fan your casts. You know, it's not like with the boat, you can just move spots. You've got to try and work the spot you've got a bit more. So while the wind is going that way, and it's great to cast, obviously, with the wind, sometimes that's not where the squid are. Hmm, it's very strange that we saw that squid, and we haven't, A, caught that one squid or seen any more. Let's give this uh, Inku Squid Tackle Jig a, another flick. One more flick. They don't uh, let me down very often, the Inku Squid Tackle stuff. Don't forget, uh, if you want to get some for yourself to try out, uh, you can use code MATSFISHING for 10% off store wide. Also supports the channel, so um, that's one way you can support me and get uh, some great tackle as well. Got another squid down there. Very strange how we get squid bopping at it and then I think he's on it. Got him. Oh, it's a good one too. I was very surprised that, as I said, they, he's right on the crown there, that he was bopping on it and then not taking the squid jag, but that's good. He's a medium, he's a medium sized one, but yeah, right, right on the crown. Good start to add to the, uh, the mullet. So, a squidly diddly. There's a bit of a fisherman's basket, I guess. Squid, mullet, what are we gonna catch next? How you going? Uh, a mullet and a squid. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, a bit strange. Yeah, mullet. Come on. Do you want a sticker, mate? You want a sticker? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. There you go, that's my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, we're good. Thanks, brother. There you go. <laughs> that sounds good. Buddy. No worries. Have a good day. You, well, massive wind knock, guys. I've lost quite a bit of line. I know there's supposed to be easy ways to do it, but not for me, there we go. So I'm going to basically, just gonna have to retire this rod. So not the best result, but it could have been worse probably. All right, we'll go back to some squidding. Oh, we've got one, finally. Oh, 
the head cam's not turning on, but we've got a squid. It's reasonable size. Oh, just give me a bit of a squirt up the top. Maybe about the same size as the other one. The uh, Inku comes through again. Yeah, about pretty much the same size. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Happy with that. After the dramas of the uh, wind knot and whatever. Yeah, so he's not a bad size on the Inku Dino White. Put him out of his oh, misery. Ugh. Let's catch another one, huh? And we've got another one, guys. This is a bigger one. It's in fairly quick succession. That was literally the next cast. They're all about that same size. Felt bigger, but just uh, oh, glad that was water and not egg, because that would have got me. They're that, I guess what they say, that good eating size. Not, not huge, but definitely worthy of a feed. So that's, that's number three. And do, do, oh, chops his head off. That's all right. Let's go again. The Inku, uh, the Inku Dino White is doing a trick today. It's three. Um, yeah, beautiful. Starting to uh, drop in temperature a little bit too, I've noticed. I guess they, the sun is right behind the clouds now. Oh, we didn't get one on this uh, next cast. Probably didn't really expect to, but two in two was pretty cool. Maybe that tide's just coming in and creating that action. Maybe I was just here a bit too early. But I like getting here earlier because, you know, with all the recording and setting things up and that, otherwise you you feel like you miss prime sort of fishing. So the uh, uh, work's going well at Pioneer Water Tanks. Done quite a few installs in the last week. It's been pretty stressful just having to move all the the bookings and installations around due to weather and so forth, but yeah, that's part of it. Here's some photos of some of the, the recent installs this week. So if you're looking for a Pioneer water tanks, jump on at pioneertanks.com and fill out a, uh, a quote request form and Maybe just put a note that you heard about it on the channel in the message box and I'll be sure to uh, look after you. Might change colours, might move away from the Dino White and try, uh, maybe try one of the darker colours. give the uh, gold runner a go first it's the sun is just coming down out of the afternoon position so sometimes with this glow tiger you get some really good flex sometimes some squid go for certain colors and others go for other colors so there could still be more squid out there, but I just haven't thrown the right jig in front of them yet, perhaps. That's why I like the Inku squid case. You can fill them up with all sorts of different sizes and colors. Oh, it's getting pretty cold now, and I'm not a person that usually feels the cold. I've got a thermal singlet on, or t-shirt on under this, but it's, 
just whipping straight through my trackies. Any luck? Uh, three squid and a mullet of all things. Oh, got me a bit excited there. Felt like there might have been one there. Oh yes, it was. And we've got him. It's not, it's not very big, but it is a squid. I'm gonna slowly bring him in. Just a baby. It's pretty chilled. Oh. Oh, I thought there was a follower, but it's not. It's just the ink behind. Oh, no, there is. Guys, guys, come down here. Come here with the jig. Drop your jig right down next to where my squid is. There's a follower down there. Drop it down. Yeah, let it a bit further down in the column. There was a follower following mine in, so it should be down there somewhere. All right, we'll get mine up. It's just a little baby. Get him off. And see if he comes back. No, he might have might have gone now, but got to be quick. Um, and we got another one. It's probably another small, medium one. Yeah, just another smaller one. No followers this time. Yeah, not really big, unfortunately. The baby seemed to like the gold runner. That's five. Hope a big one comes along and likes the gold runner. It's definitely dropped a few degrees, guys. I am, well, they're not blue, but yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, that sun's gone right behind those darker clouds and it's bloody freezing. And I tend to be a lot more of a fair weather fisherman these days. <laughs> it's really funny, you get a couple in quick succession and then nothing, I might, I don't know, maybe it's time to change jigs again, maybe try the red devil out. You know, we've got the ones that wanted the Dyna White, we've got the ones that wanted the uh, Gold Runner. If you had to start with three jigs from Inku Squid Tackle, I'd get a Glow Tiger, a, a Red Devil, and a Dyna White, very closely followed by the Gold Runner. I'd say those four. And you're pretty much set for most conditions. Gonna change that out, gonna try the Red Devil. I put him back. I mean, as you can see, there's all sorts of different other colors in here. The rainbow glow, or the rainbow magic, sorry, the pink glow, the hunter, the orange glow. I don't tend to use them as much. I tend to sort of have my preferences on these sorts of jigs at the different times. So as it's getting a bit darker, the, uh, the darker profile silhouette creating jig is going to be you go to try the rainbow uh, five squid yeah. Probably more than most people have caught all week. All right. Not much else about. I caught a mullet, which was a bit strange. A mullet? Yeah, a real yellow-eyed mullet on the Tommy rig. I don't feel so bad then if no one's been catching many. I know you've done well. The f***ing for five. The f***ing is called five out here. 
So three reasonable and two sort of small ones. So yeah. and a yeah, 26 centimetre mullet on a float rig yeah. out this far. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to call it there. Um, bit of a mixed session. The five squid, pretty good actually. I've uh, just heard from a local that there hasn't been many being caught, which is great. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe and uh, watch this video next.